Hello and welcome to Simon Says Artwork. In this video I'm going to be drawing on a cardboard box with some fine liners. I use a 0.05 which is a really small nib and I also use a Faber-Castell brush pen to get some of the darker areas that's also because it's a brush pen it will cover more space a lot quicker. So uh, this is drawing from imagination and it's drawing quite an elaborative decorative kind of outfit that sort of harkens back to old traditional um, almost religious like garb and then mixing that with some sci-fi type of technology with some shoulder pads and almost a bit of a booster pack on the background so anyway let's get started <laughs> I used to always enjoy drawing on these cardboard boxes because of the mid-grey. I start this drawing by with the uh, eyes like most people do. I get in the nose and the, the cranium and then I start to build down the face and start to get the structure and proportions as accurate as I can. From that point I use the fine nib to apply some hatching and I always like to establish a light source fairly early on so that I know uh, the environment as well. As soon as you decide where the light's coming from, you can really build a lot of details into the character a lot easier because you've already started to consider where the sun or the light source is. For this character, I decided that it would be in the top right. And although it's not that heavy shading on the face yet, the more I continue, the more I base it off the first part of the shading that I've done. Now I shade heavier lower down, so beneath the nose and the um, around the mouth I do start to shade heavier because lower down the face you will see shadows um, start to form. And although I may have gone slightly too heavy there, I think it becomes justified the more I start to create darker and darker hatching around the face and the neck area. As you can see there, I've continued with the shadow to the extent where it's actually quite heavy and I like this decorative style of clothing which I've started to create for this character including the braided ponytail this beard and moustache which the character has obviously shed himself and is now on a cushion that he's carrying as though it's uh, almost a ceremonious um, ritual and I use uh, bits of shading where you do hatching in one direction and then um, meet that in the other direction with a little gap in between to suggest a light source. And I recommend trying that if you haven't already. It's quite nice and effective for showing shine off um, hair and it does look, uh, does look quite good in my opinion. I continue with this um, pattern on not only the cushion but on the robe and even on the shirt beneath the robe I start to do the same thing and it's basically just continuing these loops and bars and concepts for what could be a really intricate design. For the shirt which I'm working on now I almost consider how I used to draw mandalas so I would draw something which is, say, a series of triangles and then around that a bit of a force field and then around that force field I would maybe do circles at each point and then around the circles there'd be a different shaped force field which goes down part of the triangle and around the circles and then as it expands it just goes and goes. And you can see here how I've done his right arm, which is on the left, folded behind his back. I changed my mind on this design in a moment because I thought about the fact that you see with the pen here I'm trying to think of where to place the hand and that's where I put it. The thing which I was thinking was that one hand is behind the cushion and if the other hand is behind his back then you're not really getting the benefit of any hand of the character and I'd like to include one of his hands as a, a way to indicate a gesture. So because this is... Um, kind of almost looks like a spiritual um, 
guru or some kind of figure of, uh, a, you know, a kind of religious movement. I thought if you put the hand, which looks as though it is um, indicating some kind of spirituality or enlightenment, then it will add to the atmosphere which the character is creating. I've done bits of design which aren't so old world. They're kind of more modern, as you can see. So there's a shoulder pad, which almost makes it look like an Imperial Guard. And then there is a jetpack looking uh, boosters behind him. And that's just to add interest to the design to make it more of a either cyberpunk or some kind of um, strange science fiction where it could almost be like Dune, where in Dune you have people who wear religious garb mixed with more science fiction styled design in order to create this interest to the character and this futuristic suggestion where old world beliefs have um, have lived on into the future. And I continue with these bars and loops on the design of the shirt. And in the meantime, I do try to, I've made an adjustment there to the cuffs of the, uh, of his robe, which he's wearing in order to make them drape a little bit more heavy and create a foreshortening on his elbow. And then I continue to add to the hatching. Here I have an idea to create an almost mechanical bug looking creature, which is creeping from beneath the robe. And I think it's because I have a strange bump in the robe that I thought if I can create this creature, then it will justify why the robe has got this weird bump higher up. Um, so that's where I do that. And it's also just a strange design that I think would be interesting for the character and potential story, which could go along with this type of a, um, outfit. For the hand, I like to decide where the light is coming from and with the face showing that the light is coming from the upper right, for the hand I start to create the hatching underneath the hand and to try to make it heavy enough that it indicates where the light is hitting and where the shadow is collecting. I'm using a brush nib for the uni pin pens in order to have this darker black shadow underneath. It's not the same pen that I used for the hair, that was a Faber-Castell brush pen, but they both have very dark black um, ink, which is a nice contrast to the more feathered hatching, which you have from the one point, uh, 0 0.1 nib. And I'm wondering whether I even used a 0 0.05 nib for some of the shading on the face because it's such a fine hatching. So it's potentially that, but because I don't have the cap on this pen, I can't actually see what nib I'm using. But the 0 0.1 does get very fine hatching, but the 0 0.05, you can create a, a whole shape and then change your mind part way through and it will just disappear once you um, darken a lot of the lines. So long as you haven't gone too dark on the lines, you can really do whatever you like as a sort of underdrawing and it was a nice way to ease into ink first drawings when I was trying to practice that type of commitment. Here I continue with these patterns and just loops and swirls and then also I try to heighten some of the creases on the material of the jacket. I like some of the texture that gets created here with the hatching because it's um, supposed to be this type of robe-like jacket. I think that you can almost see the texture even though it's all black and white and just lines. It does have this nice uh, illusion to it. Even on the little headdress there, it's worth putting bits of hatching because it just heightens the reality that you're creating on the surface. It's the same with the cushion. I try to uh, ensure that I'm adding a layer of light shadow to certain areas and also just hatching onto parts of the cushion in order to distinguish it from the trim around the edge. And there on the hands are just darkening certain parts and I think that so long as I don't go too far it just creates this um, sense of light which is impacting the surfaces. I need to do the same thing on the jetpack looking boosters on his back so I try to make sure that they don't 
create any kind of material texture and instead they look as though they're on a mechanical surface so it's almost like a shine edge. I like some of these bars that I'm creating on this pattern on his robe or his shirt underneath the robe I should say and it's something which I wouldn't like to redraw because it's such a complicated shape but I like the character as it is and I could see it as part of a I don't know an epic sci-fi journey one of the characters who would come with uh, some kind of prophecy or something like that but that's where the drawing ends I leave it there okay so that's the drawing done now I thought it was quite interesting because I had this kind of like little hat on his head and this almost robe like type of um, coat that he was wearing I like the whole pattern thing that I started to make out of it now the pose was a little bit strange. You could see the point where I was working out how to do the hand which went off to the side, but I quite liked it. I didn't get finished. So there was a little bit more to the drawing that I did afterwards, but because that wasn't actually fully rendered and I didn't complete the, the actual space behind him, that's why I didn't include that part in the video. If I ever do continue with the sketch, I might do a second part to this, but for now, that's where I'm gonna leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, share this video with any friends and family that might like it. I really wanna grow the channel with your help. I might get some more support and hopefully be able to share my content with a wider audience. But otherwise, I will see you in the next video.